All right, this is just going to be a very, very quick um, tutorial on how I do like basic um, edits on my photos. Um, I use Lightroom for almost everything except, um, you know, cloning changes and stuff like that. Um, so this is where I would do my editing is in Lightroom. Um, so first off, what I typically do, um, I do have some actions over here or presets, I guess, my bad, we're in photo, or Lightroom now. Um, so as you can see, I've kind of favored some of the ones I've made over time or that I've gotten, um, but I don't really use them. It is very, very, very rare that I would use them. Um, the only ones that I do use is the one that comes, um, oh, where did they go? Typical with Lightroom, like the black and white ones, and then I edit it from there. Um, which I can even show you really quickly too. So, all right, this image right here is um, just straight out of camera. Um, and I actually forgot to put my camera back into RAW um, from my um, boudoir shoot that I did the other day um, since I don't really need RAW for boudoir. Um, so the first half of this um, session was shot in JPEG. I think I finally noticed it. Yeah, towards the end somewhere. So as you can see, it changed from JPEG to CR2 over here. So maybe I'll come do one of those two really quickly, even though I haven't looked at them yet. So, okay. So first off, what I would do, um, this is, like I said, straight out of camera. Um, your settings are over here. I have it on ISO 100 um, using my um, 35 millimeter uh, lens. Um, aperture 1.4 and the shutter speeds at 320. Um, like I said before, you need to learn your manual settings. Um, I can't tell you how much my image is improved once I learned that. Um, it's, I know it's comfortable at first um, to use um, automatic, but once you learn manual and you get the hang of it, it is you, you have so much more knowledge and control over your images and your camera. Um, Ashley from My Amelia really helped me um, and encouraged me to use mine and, you know, taught me a good amount and I can't be thankful enough to her for that. Um, I also encourage normally, like I, even though I forgot for this one, shooting raw. Um, I held off on it forever because I didn't want to use the big files and everything, but I have noticed, um, you know, another big difference in my picture since I did switch to raw. Um, as far as post-processing goes, um, the difference that it makes when you use your sliders for temperature and everything, it's just, it's a big difference. You have a lot more control post-processing as well. Um, especially if you were to mess up an image, um, you know, and it looked like this, you could basically turn it into a beautiful image. All right. So this is, let me get back to straight out of camera right here. Now that I've rambled for 10 minutes, not really, but close. Okay. So first what I would do is I would brighten it up a little bit because I like bright pictures. Um, but as you can see, that leaves them a little too white. Um, you can fix this with the highlights um, or whites or both. Um, you don't want to do it too much because then they start to look kind of not like humans. Um, we don't want no twilight stuff going on. All right, so then the contrast, I always up it a little bit um, just to kind of bring out the contrast in the darks. Um, Sometimes, depending on the image, if it needs a little warmth, I will add, you know, some warmth. Um, or if you're like a cooler side, like you like the cool look, you could go to the to the uh, blue temperature side. I'm probably just going to leave it how it is. I like the color that it is already. Um, it's already got some yellow tint to it because it's in the, uh, with the sun in the background, which I love to shoot. Um, my preference, not everybody's. Um... I like the way the image looks. The only thing I might do from here is go down to the sharpening and maybe just sharpen the entire image a little bit. I don't want to do it too much because I, I do like, you know, somewhat the soft look of Canon. But like you can say, see here, if I were to go up, it gets like ridiculous sharp. Um, when I first like learned about sharpening, I like over sharpened all my pictures. And now looking back, I was like, what was I thinking? But typical. Okay, so I'm probably going to do it right about there. Um, it doesn't need any noise reduction because it was shot at ISO 100 in light, so totally fine on there. You don't want to give it any any noise uh, reduction or anything like that. So this is the image. Um, I actually left a little too blue there because I 
and it's stuck. Um, but that is how I would typically do just a normal photo. Um, let me go over here and see if I can find when I changed it to raw and see if you can tell the difference in editing. Okay, so let's just click over here. All right, um, let's do this one because um, I this one I would have to talk about cloning and I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. That's a whole different tutorial in itself. All right, so this image is a little darker. Um, it was This was towards the end of the shoot, so it was um, darker outside. The sun was almost down already. Um, so you can take a look at my settings up here in the histogram, top of the histogram. Um, so what I'm going to start doing is upping my exposure here a little bit um, just to make it brighter because I like the bright image look. And now before I go adjust my highlights, I'm going to check the contrast because I can already tell they've, they're missing some missing some contrast here. So um, definitely, as you can see, here I'll up it so you can see how bright that is. I'm going to lower the highlights probably all the way down for this one and maybe the whites too and then go back up to my exposure and pop it up and possibly bring the contrast out just a little bit more. Um, maybe sharpen it a tad. Now, what? let me go back to the temperature since this is in RAW. Um, right now it's a shot, so they're not on zero and zero like they are with JPEGs. So that's how it was shot. Um, I can make it warmer or more cool. Uh, I don't remember what number it was on, but I'm going to leave it at about that. Um, but you have more control over that when you shoot in RAW. Um, we have more control over a lot of things, which I didn't learn until not that long ago because I was, well, I knew how. I just didn't want to do it, but I'm glad I did. So that's basically um, all I do. Um, if I wanted to do, say I wanted to put this in black and white, which I wouldn't because I love the colors, but I just come over here to the black and white, obviously way too dark, so I go to exposure. Um, pop it up and let's see the whites are too much I'm gonna pop the contrast and just brighten up the exposure a little bit now as you can see because there's so much trees over here it's really dark in the top right corner um, let me see if shadows fixes it good yeah you can do that that's usually the best way to fix it. Um, I might even just use my brush because it's just that one little corner. So go over to the brush tab. That was not, they will be all set on zero when you get to them, but since I played with mine before, they're kind of not on zero. But this is what it'll look like. You'll click this button here and all the brushes will pop up. Um, I'm gonna click on shadows and the right will brighten it up. So I'm just gonna kinda go in this corner right here and brighten it up. So since I did that, I'm gonna darken that whole image a little bit more. So that's probably about what I would leave it at. Um, it's just the way I like the look of my images. Like I said, everybody does it different, but this is how I do mine. So for those of you that ask, this that's a basic image. If you have any other questions um, about how I do something, um, feel free to let me know. All right, thanks guys.